hello and good afternoon. My name is Amanda and welcome to The Den Creative. For today's pick a card reading, we are going to be figuring out a feel good message for you. And this is just going to be a message to help you feel good about what's going on in your life. So whether you are already feeling good or you're kind of in a blah moment or a really dark night of the soul type of moment, either way, no matter where you're at, this message I hope finds you and gives you some comfort and peace and some happiness in your day. So if you're new to pick a card readings, I just ask that you close your eyes, take a couple of deep cleansing breaths to try to center your energy and focus in on piles number one, two, and three. And if more than one pile calls out to you, there may be messages in each pile for you. And once you've selected your pile or piles, you can go ahead and check the description box below for the timestamps. And I also try to pin them as the top comment. So without delaying this any further, I'm going to give you a moment to meditate on the cards and I will see you over at your reading. All right, for those of you who chose group number one, let's go ahead and find out what your feel good message is. And this is the card you use to select your pile. So I'm just going to go ahead and read it out to you. It says, my capacity to tune in to the energy of love gives me the words I need when I'm ready to speak up, the compassion I need when it's time to forgive, and the power I need when I am lost. So this is basically saying that when you can tune into that energy of love, you tap into your infinite power. Your power does lie in the now moment, but it lies even more importantly in the power of love in the now moment. So the higher you can raise your vibration, you're going to know what to say to people. You're going to be able to forgive people and you're going to be able to find your way when you feel lost in life, which I feel may be a theme for you, those of you who selected this pile, feeling lost or like directionless or not really sure what to do, what to focus on, where to go. That's just really what's standing out to me. But some of you may have someone in your life that you feel like you need to forgive or that you wish they would forgive you even. I'm seeing kind of both paths here emerging. But then there are others of you who are looking to speak up or to finally show the real you to someone. And I feel like for someone, this may be on social media. So if you've been kind of holding your truth back or biting your tongue, this is the time to tap into that love part within yourself to really get yourself the courage to finally speak up, to finally reveal the real you. And I just saw someone like removing a mask and no, not the type that we're wearing for, for the, the virus going around. This is just a mask that you've put on to kind of dull your light or to kind of shape yourself into something you're not. You're taking off the mask. You're ready to show who you are, which is very beautiful. So let's go ahead and deal a few cards to see what we have. Actually, we're going to get one card here from the Believe in Your Own Magic deck. What is group number one's feel-good message? It's already popping out. And I'm not sure if we can see that all on the top up there. Looks like we can. So, okay. So you have the number 14. One plus four is five. So there may be big changes coming. I think this is in your belief systems or how you feel about yourself because you have the Thorns card. Weave together the crown you deserve. Stepping into your light, taking that mask off and weaving together a crown that is more the authentic you. Showing people your real self. I mean, I could just keep saying this over and over, but I feel like many of you have been, you know, like I say, dulling your light or hiding a part of yourself from either your family, your friends, people you work with, just you don't want them to think that you are weird or some sort of, I just heard conspiracy theorist. So if you are someone who's out there speaking truth or kind of standing up against what's going on in the world and trying to, you know, if you're someone who's going against the mainstream narrative, especially, I see you almost afraid to speak out on what you really feel, but this is the time to stand up for what you believe in is really what I'm hearing. So we're going to go ahead and get two cards from the Oracle of the Seven Energies. And we already had one. Well, there's two there. I'm going to go ahead and ask the question and they're just popping out. So we'll keep this one. Okay. What is the feel good message group number one needs to know right now? Okay, so we have 
roots of abundance and it is what it is. So we have a two here and a six. So two could be about partnerships, this roots of abundance. Maybe you are coming together with somebody to create something that could be a child. You could be um, combining assets by getting married or um, even saving money by moving in with a friend by combining this two is a combination so like you're bringing two energies together in some way and I feel like you guys with this Roots of Abundance card you're planting seeds right now whether that's in your work or in a hobby or in a relationship these seeds you're planting now are going to reap fruits for you later on because you're putting in the time now you're putting in the effort and the work that when it comes time that these um, fruits of your labor are ripe and ready to pick, you're gonna have an abundance of things, whether that's money, resources, um, feel good energy from a loved one, you're gonna have an abundance of something coming to you in due time. So then we have it is what it is. So some of you are maybe dealing with a situation right now or an issue that you're kind of at this stalemate, just not really knowing what way to go or what way to turn. And I feel like because with this two over here, this may have to do with a love partnership or a really good friend or a really close family member, someone who you are intimately connected to. And intimacy doesn't always mean sexual. So whoever you are intimately connected to, there may be someone you have had a disagreement with or you're just not jiving with the way that you maybe normally would but because this is that number six it is a very nurturing number a very motherly energy universal love unconditional love so with this is it is what it is it's almost like once you accept that this person may be not wanting to change their mind or digging their heels in and being very stubborn about something or not seeing things your way you just kind of come to realize you know this is how this person's reacting to what i've said this is how this person's reacting to what's going on in their life and i can't change that so i'm going to accept that and then i can change what i can have control over is my thoughts about this person my reactions to this person my actions toward this person or situation it doesn't always have to be a person but i feel for many of you it is but your intentions what you feel how you perceive something is what you have control over. So by accepting what is, you can then shift the energy by changing the way you think of it. And that sometimes will break loose whatever it is you're kind of going up against and get rid of that resistance. So you, I see you overcoming this resistance. So that's the feel good message you're receiving is any resistance you're coming up against with loved ones, with uh, opportunities not really moving forward, you're gonna overcome that and very soon I do feel for most of you. So let's go ahead and get another card for you guys, okay? What is group number one's feel good message today? This one right here. We have the Mercury card and this is all about open communication. So yes, the words, give me the words I need when I'm ready to speak up, you guys. You are wanting to communicate your truths to either a partner, someone close to you, that intimate relationship, or just speaking your truth out to whoever it is who will listen, maybe even on like social media or at a job or something like that. But you're ready to stand up for what is right is really what I'm hearing. So some of you um, have this weight that you want to get up off your chest. Maybe you... Um, feel like there has been some injustice in your own life and you're now ready to speak up about what has happened to you or if there's someone you know or some you know cause that you're wanting to have awareness come toward you're now speaking up about that cause and the feel good message i'm getting from this is your point is going to get across the words that you're speaking are going to hit their target directly in the bullseye like people are going to be I'm getting chills now guys it's happening <laughs> so I'm seeing your words hit the target you, oh man the tingles are really really intense just give me one second yes um so I'm really feeling that this uh, weight that you're trying to lift off of humanity or off your own chest or just kind of, I feel like this situation or this thing you're wanting to speak up about is some sort of elephant in the room of your own personal life or an elephant of the room or in the room of the collective, of everyone everywhere. So wherever you fall on that spectrum, just know that what you speak 
even if certain people are really turned off by what you're saying or they ignore you or they yell at you or they call you out you know just stand firm in what you know is right and keep speaking your truth because it is going to reach the people who were meant to hear it the people who can be affected and actually change the world with you by hearing your message okay let's go ahead and get one more card as they all fall down <laughs> okay what is group number one's feel good message Woo! that was loud <laughs> Okay, so it says here, a new romantic cycle begins. So yes, going back to that number two with the partnership. So whether you're already coupled up with someone or you are single, I feel like there's a new beautiful, fun, energetic cycle happening within a close relationship. And I know it says here on the card romantic, but if you are not really interested in romance at this time or you already feel like that department of your life is going great this can be just um, a, a cycle in your life in a situation or in relationships with other people where you just feel like things are fun and playful and a lot easier than they were it's like I see you wading through this swampy mud and you're just trying to pick up your feet and pick up your feet and it's not really happening but now you're heading into thinner waters where it's not so muddy and mucky. It's more of a clear stream where you can rinse all that mud off and, you know, walk clearly through the water easily and maneuver easily through the water till you are on the shore. And I don't know why I saw you in the water. Maybe that is just an indication of you guys feeling stuck or like you're drowning in your own emotions or you're drowning in the energies of what is going on. I just see not literal drowning, but just feeling out of control of your own life is really what's standing out. But I see you, you know, leaving that muddiness, leaving that stream, and then finally coming to shore where you have your feet on the ground firmly planted, where you can plant those roots to make the reality that you want grow. Wow, that was powerful. I hope this resonated for you guys. You will have to let me know below if this feel-good message was for you and what you thought. And as always, you guys, thanks again so, so much for all your likes, comments, shares, subscribes, and all the things. And I really, truly do hope to see you back at the Done Creative. All right, bye. All right, group number two, let's go ahead and find out what feel-good message is in store for you. And we're gonna go ahead and start by reading what this cover card used to select your pile says. And it says here, hope is the conduit for miracles. So I just see you guys in this very hopeful stage of your life coming up, this very hopeful cycle. Whereas before, maybe you felt, much like group number one, almost apathetic or just stuck or just maybe even depressed or full of anxiety, but you're coming into a time where you're going to be feeling more hopeful. And in return, you're going to start manifesting some beautiful light and energy and joy into your life where it feels like, you know, with this miracles written here, it's like the higher you can get into this beautiful vibration, the more you can pull in these beautiful energies that are meant for you to be able to create the life that you want is really what I'm seeing. So let's go ahead and get another card for you guys. What is group number two's feel good message? What does group number two need to know? All right. <laughs> this card comes out pretty much every reading I've ever done using these new Believe in Your Own Magic cards. And we have the Bitch Fire card. Stand up for yourself. One plus six is seven, that spiritual number. So you guys are tapping into that spirituality, that more spiritual side of yourself. You are letting your light shine. You are just over the BS. You're ready to stand proud and tall in your light and you're standing up for yourself. So where others may have been kind of putting you in a box or making you play small or making you feel like you had to play small, you're just kind of saying, no, step aside, it is my time to shine. And I see you being very confident in that. And I feel for the most part, you guys are empaths and it's hard for you a lot of times to speak up for yourself. You may be having an easy time speaking up for others, but when it comes to speaking up for yourself, I feel like many of you guys just don't do it or it's really hard. You kind of just drag your feet and, you know, don't really stand up for yourselves the way you should. But I see you coming into this cycle where you're going to start really standing firm in your beliefs and what you know is right and doing what is right. And you're going to be actually, because of that, attracting new people into your life 
or old people into your life who've been in your life for a long time, but you're gonna have this renewed sense of hope for a better world by communing with these people, by speaking with them either in person or on social media or on the phone or whatever, but you're gonna be connecting with people and having this sense of hope that kind of spreads through your circle like wildfire to where you guys are really wanting to shine your light and in shining light, that also creates harsh shadows because when you shine a light in the dark you can really start to see those shadows and that darkness can no longer hide so sometimes when the light starts to shine brighter on the planet it almost looks like it's the worst it's ever been because everything looks so dark and dreary and evil but that's not the case at all it's just that there's more light shining to actually illuminate what's been creeping in the dark the whole time if that makes any sense and in your guys's lives you maybe have been shining the light on habits that you've had or things that you've had going on in your life that, um, you know, I see cycles of depression, cycles of anxiety that have maybe been keeping you stuck. And now here come the tingles, just like group number one, I'm getting tingles on my head. Here we go. So I'm seeing you coming out of that cycle of depression, that cycle of anxiety and having more hope and more joy in your life. So let's go ahead and get some more cards about your feel good message. What is group number two's feel good message? Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and take both of those because they did both stick together. Okay. We have seeing beyond and feeling the world. Okay. This is all really starting to make sense for me. So what I was saying about that very spiritual number, number seven here, you now have the seeing beyond card. So you guys are wanting to tap more into your spirituality, more into those extrasensory gifts, those spiritual gifts that you were born with. But I see many of you had suppressed those as small children and maybe even as teenagers or some of you, even if you didn't want to suppress them, maybe these gifts seem to kind of go by the wayside because you were so focused on friends or school or some activities you were involved in that weren't very spiritual, maybe sports or something that just kind of made your spiritual side kind of go by the wayside. But you're coming into this cycle now where those gifts are coming back online or enhancing if they never quite left. They're enhancing beyond a point that you've ever experienced before in this lifetime to where you're going to almost be having like premonitions and precognitive dreams where you're foreseeing the future. I see a lot of you maybe having dreams about people that are pregnant, like uh, friends that are pregnant, uh, siblings that are pregnant, uh, parents, or, or um, even if you're someone who has children and hoping for grandchildren, maybe you have a dream that your child is pregnant. Of course, if they're of age, let's, let's not get crazy here, but um, if your child is of age and you're wanting grandchildren, maybe you're having premonitions that these children of yours are having grandkids and you are right on the money and I see you just being able to tap into a higher timeline to where you're done with the old world all the BS all the anxiety all the evil all the fear just all the sickness and I'm not just talking like with this virus I'm talking the spiritual sickness the mental sickness that everybody experiences living on this planet because we are also brainwashed and conditioned out of our spiritual sides and you're done with it. You're standing up for yourself and you're stepping out of the matrix, so to speak, and you are getting to see something beyond what you've seen thus far in your life. And this is coming soon for you guys. You have a 36 here, three plus six is nine. So it is the end of that old um, hopeless cycle. You are now stepping into that 5D timeline, that hope, oh my goodness, the tingles, you guys, you guys, you guys. Woo! I'm on it. I'm on it right now. You're you're just literally stepping off of that matrix, out of that matrix into the 5D timeline. New Earth. You are holding New Earth in your hands in this. I am getting chills all up and down my arms now, you guys. You are feeling the world. That that goes both ways. You are feeling the old world that seems to be like crying out for help and digging its nails in and trying to hold on. You are feeling that despair of the people you love and the people around you who feel like the world is ending, which the world is ending, just not in that cataclysm sort of way. 
the old way of the earth is ending because we are at a new beginning and we have the 13 here on this feeling the world card one plus three is four we have the support of our guides our angels our friends our family we are starting to unite as a world even though it looks very divided if you go on facebook or watch the news everyone looks like they hate each other everyone looks like they're ready to cut their neighbor's throat at the drop of a hat and that is actually not the case the, those really heart-centered people are starting to find each other online. They're starting to find each other in real life. Maybe I'm seeing like a sister, a girl, a woman who's been having kind of a precarious uh, relationship with her sister. And maybe you guys really just didn't ever see life the same way. You butted heads. You just weren't really friends. You're like, you know, if she wasn't my family, she wouldn't be my friend. But now, like, the energies are bringing you two back together, and out of nowhere, you two are closer than ever. And I just see that relationship with this sister. Just, it's like you guys are enmeshed. Like, you guys are reuniting and just making a beautiful new relationship together. But this sister could be a mother, it could be a father, it could be a, a friend or a new friend, someone you've never met, it could be a, a partner. You know, the sister was just an example of one person I actually saw who's watching this has a sister that now they're reuniting and becoming really close to. And you may even be moving closer to family or having family move closer to you because this world is changing. Things are changing. People are shifting locations to be where the energy is higher and better and more optimum for their survival. And not just their survival, but for them to thrive is really what I'm seeing because this cycle of hope is happening. You guys are stepping into this 5D earth. You guys, it feels like energetic wise you're spending more time in 5d earth than in 3d earth at this time and you know sometimes for a while you know i don't know if you've read up much on dolores cannon but it seems like for a while those two earths are in tandem before they split i'm seeing you guys kind of riding the line between both and but yet at this point spending more time in 5d if that makes sense so let's go ahead and get another card for you guys what is group number two's feel-good message? I love that these feel-good messages took a very spiritual turn. I absolutely love that. And I do have an Ascension symptoms or an Ascension energies video coming out real soon. So if that's something you're interested, be on the lookout for that. What is group two's feel-good message? Here it is. You're very close to achieving your goal. Absolutely right. What I was saying, just writing that line between um, old earth and new earth, you are right there. And also in your more mundane goals of your 3D life or your almost now 5D life where you are just living your dream, doing what you do. If there is um, some sort of goal that you've had, you're very close to achieving at least a very important milestone within that goal if not the whole entire goal itself for some of you. And I saw someone like creating some sort of um, uh, like creative project, if I could think. Um, I see you like putting the final stamp of approval on something you've created and you're very happy with how it turned out. That's, you know, you're, but you're very close. So whatever goals or desires you have, they are very close at hand. And the more you can stay in that vibration of hope and happiness and joy, the quicker you're going to bring this goal to fruition for yourself. Okay, so let's go ahead and get one more card. What is group number two's feel good message? What is group number two's feel good message? Woo! Okay. We have El Moria. And I never know if I say that right, but this is such a beautiful card because this is awakening presence. The universe is with you. Wear a cloak of protection and love. That 13, 1 plus 4, or 1 plus 3 is 4. You have the support of your guides, your angels, God, the universe. But in this shift, in this transition, we are out in a spiritual war. If you weren't aware of that, we are in a spiritual war. So you will have to, I feel like you guys are protected. You have guides and angels that are just on point they are on it they are with you they are protecting and guiding you but if you feel at any point you want some additional um, help and support and love and protection 
I see someone who really just wants to be protected from having to get a, um, I'll put the word here, so if you're not near screen, you might want to read right here because I don't want to trip the algorithm for censorship reasons, but if you're worried about that, if you're worried about also this word here, I call it FG, but it's this, um, frequencies that aren't meant for our human bodies, that don't go and jive well with our bodies, if you're worried about stuff like that, you can always offer up this cloak of protection around you and ask your guides and angels to surround you with their more high vibration because I almost see it like there are two radio stations. It's like 89.1 and 93.2. I almost feel like those those harsh frequencies or the, the agendas that you don't want to happen, they're just at a lower frequency thing that can reach you anymore. Even if you don't have a cloak of protection around you, it's almost like it's it's like almost I'm seeing I'm trying to, to explain this the way I'm seeing it in my head and I don't think my little examples are quite hitting the mark but it's almost like they're trying to teach you kindergarten curriculum but you're in 11th grade like it just doesn't it's almost like a <laughs> good one um, I'm kind of beyond that so by now like that's what I'm seeing with this old earth energy um, these agendas that are at play in the media that you're you're seeing people fight about on social media and stuff that stuff is falling by the wayside to where you can still tune into the energy of it and experience it if you choose, but if you choose to look to a higher position, a higher timeline, instead of watching that ship go down, the burning flames and the people jumping from it, instead of watching that all play out and really fixating on it and calling it out even more, even more, even more, I think that enough people know about it. You don't have to keep calling it out, calling it out, calling it out. At some point you need to step away from that burning ship and focus on the new horizon in front of you this new earth you hold in your hand she's looking right at it just focusing on what you want to create not what is dying in this 3d world focus on the new earth focus on how you're gonna work in this new world focus on you know cleaning up your diet, fixing your life to where you are the best version of yourself you can be because when you can operate in your most maximum potential, there is no stopping you. And that's the main message I think I'm getting for you guys today. So this was so powerful and absolutely amazing, you guys. Wow, I really truly do wanna hear from you. You will have to let me know below what you thought about this and if it resonated because I wanna hear all about what you guys are experiencing right now because it's like, you know, you guys are on that line between the two Earths, and I just want to hear how your day-to-day -day life has been going. So you'll have to drop me a comment below letting me know what you thought and if it resonated. And as always, you guys, thanks again so, so much for all your likes, comments, shares, subscribes, and all the things. And I really, truly do hope to see you back at the Done Creative. All right, bye. All right, group number three, let's go ahead and find out what feel-good message is in store for you today. And we're going to go ahead and start by reading your cover card here. It says, when I think I've surrendered, I surrender more. And what's really standing out to me about this card is maybe the fact that your ego has really been running your show or really stepping in and butting its head against what you know is right. And when you think you've surrendered to something, surrender even more because the ego can't survive in that energy of surrender. And that doesn't mean that fatalistic kind of surrender where you're a victim and life's just happening to you and you have no power. It's absolutely the opposite of that. It's where you are realizing you can't control all these other things out there, but you can control how you react to what's going on. You can control how you feel about it. Um, maybe not the thing, you can't control what the situation is, but you can control how you view it, how you respond, how you don't respond, you know, in some cases. So it's going to be different for each of you, but I feel this sense of surrender coming to where if you've been really butting heads with someone or really trying to force a situation to move forward and things just aren't going forward, once you kind of reach that time of release, just surrender to what is, that's when that door is going to open. That's when that friction is going to subside and the floodgates will just open for you is really what I'm feeling. So let's go ahead and get you some more guidance. So what feel good message is in store for group number three? Feel good message. I want this one right here. 
Okay, so we have the raindrops card and it says take a chance on them. So this feels to me like you guys, when with this surrender, this is taking a chance on something new or someone new. Maybe this person that you, um, if you're single, if there's been someone you've kind of been talking to, but they maybe don't really look like your normal type. This is just saying, you know, kind of surrender to that ego part of you that's like, well, he or she doesn't really look like the type of person I normally go after. This is saying, you know, let those walls down a little bit and take a bit of a chance on something. So this could be a person. This could be an opportunity. Um, this could be as simple as um, answering the phone when normally you don't recognize the number. You just let it go to voicemail or you deny the call. This is actually answering the call. And that can be liter literally or figuratively answering the call. But this is going to be you taking chances on something and it's going to pan out in your favor. Because I see these two little fairies just glowing beside these two women here. It's like you have help from unseen forces, unseen guides, angels, God, the universe. Things are lining up. When you decide to take a chance and step into more of your North Node energy or that Rahu energy of stepping out of your comfort zone, you can, you can finally um, start having these new things come into your life because if you do what you've always done, you will get what you've always got. That's what I just heard. So let's go ahead and see what else we have in store for you guys. So what is group number three's feel good message? What is group three's feel good message? Okay, so we have the roses kiss. What is group three's feel good message? Here it is. Ears wide open. So you guys, and this is a master number 33 on this card here with ears wide open. So you guys are on high alert for your blessings that are coming in is really what I'm seeing. And I've never, I've never gotten either of these cards, but this one is a bit confusing to me. What I'm really seeing, I'm probably going to read you just a little bit out of the book, but what's really standing out to me is this little um, ladybug that is touching down on this rose here and there is some raindrops and some beautiful sunlight behind that rose i'm just feeling it's just a very quaint time just a very relaxing comfy beautiful invigorating time coming up for you guys um, you may want to even look into the symbology of the rose or the ladybug or even this little fox here some sort of fox, I believe. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab the guidebook for this one, though. Okay, so it says here for the Rose's Kiss, the key concepts, joy, experiencing pleasure, deep satisfaction and enjoyment, desires, acknowledge, five sensory realities. So, I mean, I guess intuitively I really did tap into what that card meant, so I'm kind of proud of myself. Um but you're not here for me to brag. So we're just gonna go ahead and say yes, this is just enjoying and putting yourself in that state of joy just by enjoying the little things. Um, you know, the scene of this card is very joyful. You know, I'm just picking up like early morning. So maybe some of you will be waking up earlier in the morning so you can have some time to just enjoy your quiet time by yourself is really what I'm hearing for some of you. but that has a number nine here. So there is this ending of a more harsh cycle coming in for you guys. And on the end or on the end of a harsh cycle is always a new beginning. And I don't think I mentioned on this card, uh, three plus nine is 12, one plus two is three. So there is some creativity and um, creative endeavors maybe you guys are working on. And maybe that is what this surrender is dealing with. Maybe you've hit a, a writer's block or some sort of roadblock in your creative endeavor. and just accepting that you're in this blocked state and getting out and enjoying nature, stepping away, doing something else you enjoy is going to unblock that and get that part of your life flowing again is really what I'm hearing. Okay, so go ahead and grab another card. What is group number three's feel good message? Group three's feel good message is this one right here. We have a personal issue reaches resolution, and that's just what we were saying as well. Just the end of that difficult cycle with that nine, 
you have a new beginning. So you're going to be reaching resolutions in your own personal life. So there's a personal issue you've been dealing with, maybe with a, a loved one or a work situation or um, I even seen coworker, maybe your child or a parent. Um, someone in your life or even just in your own body. Maybe you've been dealing with some health issues or some Just wellness issues trying to lose weight trying to eat healthier, you know all the things we all try to do a lot um, But there's a personal issue you've been dealing with that is going to reach a resolution and it feels like a very good resolution and Also because this is the full moon in cancer card. There may be a prominent cancer in your life um, sun, moon, or rising, or prominent placements. You yourself may have um, a cancer, sun, moon, or rising, or prominent placements in cancer. And maybe even looking at the house that cancer rules in your chart. So for instance, if it rules the 10th house, the 10th house is kind of your career, so that could be talking about your career. I know personal issues in career don't always mesh, but you know, if, you're, if you have your own business, it is very personal, your business is very personal. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get one more card for you guys. Okay, it's group number three's feel good message. Group three's feel good message. I want this one right here. And we have Lord Shiva. You can't make this stuff up, you guys. So it says transcendence, rise up, honor your inner force, steps are be being given, dance with the universe. Absolutely everything we've pretty much been talking about. Just rise up, step up to the plate, and just use that that inner force within you. I think many of you will be coming into also a more spiritual time. We don't have any sevens on the board, but with Lord Shiva, I'm picking up a lot of um, healing going on in your life, a lot of spirituality going on in your life. And also, you know, his eye here, the third eye, maybe your third eye, your clair clairvoyance is coming online. There is a cobra or a snake here on his shoulder that represents healing to me. He... We have the moon here. There is just a lot going on with you guys, with your intuition, with your um, spiritual senses, and with ears wide open, that's also calling the fact that you may really tap into your clear audience. Maybe you're hearing spirit. Maybe you're hearing um, lyrics of songs that have specific symbolism and meanings for you, and that's a way your guides and angels are communicating with you coming up. That feel good message is your ears will be wide open. You will be receiving the information you need to better your life in every capacity. So keep your ears wide open. And I also want to say keep your eyes wide open because we do have that third eye open as well. So any weird random thoughts you get or visions you see, dreams you have, just know that you are tapping into knowledge that most people don't because you are very spiritually tuned in, I do feel. And these messages are coming through to you now so you can utilize them to make your life better. So I do think that's all I'm seeing for you guys. You will have to let me know below if this message re message resonated for you and what you thought. And as always, you guys, thanks again so, so much for all your likes, comments, shares, subscribes, and all the things. And I really, truly do hope to see you back at the Done Creative. All right, bye.